Last week, Shelley High School, home of the Russets, posted pictures of its annual Russet Olympics on social media. It's been described as a competitive homecoming party where students play a bunch of games against each other. Even the teachers compete. But the games and the party weren't what, what got everyone's attention last Friday. It was the way some of the members of the senior class decided to dress themselves or rather paint themselves. How it works is the school colors are red, white and black. Each class is designated with a color. Seniors are always black. And one would assume black clothing would be the extent of it. Well, you know what they say about assumptions. As you can see, some of them decided to go blackface and even black body, full paint across arms and legs. There was one uh, picture of someone even carrying a baby doll painted black and hanging from a stick. Yeah, the interest and outrage on the Shelley High School Facebook page was almost instantaneous and as expected. What probably wasn't as, as expected, the number of people stepping in to defend such actions by the students. There are also a lot of people asking how this could be allowed to happen. Other than quickly removing the pictures from their Facebook page, the school hasn't answered any of those questions. We tried to ask them today, but they were directed. They did direct us to the statement posted to the school and district website that said, in part, the goal of Russet Olympics is to promote unity, camaraderie and school spirit. We welcome and invite anyone to attend and experience firsthand the inclusive unifying environment that takes place at this annual event. It's unfortunate that some are mischaracterizing this year's event. It is never our intention to offend or demean. We will utilize this as a learning opportunity. We look forward to finishing this challenging year and focusing on, focusing on and supporting our students. So was it racism or ignorance? And was it all taken out of context? Well, today we spoke with a former Shelley High School student, Keely Cherie, and asked her those questions. She graduated in 2019 and participated in the Russet Olympics all four years. She said it was always a lot of fun. She said there were specific rules in place, though. One of them, you couldn't paint your whole face or your whole body. And if that happened, which she didn't see happen while she was there, she assumed that student would be sent home like any other dress code violation. So when she saw these pictures posted online, her first reaction was, oh no, because it reminded her of her years at Shelley High when she was only one of three other black students in her class. Uh, it was a lot. Um, I, it was just, it was just a lot. When you say it was a lot, it sounds like it's touching on kind of a sore subject for you. It is. It always does. Do you mind if I ask why? Um, well, it's just Shelly in general. A lot of uh, race issues have come up and it's not all from, most of it isn't from high school. It's just from uh, younger grades, you know, always having to explain why my hair is like this, or having to explain why my skin is this color, having to defend myself and explain that I like being black, there's nothing wrong with it. There's been a lot of talk on the internet about uh, just flat out ignorance. Do you buy that? I want to. I really do. I want to believe that it was just something stupid that they did. But I don't know. Shelly seems to just kind of go out of its way to ignore whatever's going on around them. You know, if you wear a mask in town, you get made fun of. Or not really made fun of. You get stared at. People are like, why are you wearing your mask? You know, stuff like that. So I kind of just feel like it was just tone deaf. Why didn't, why didn't anyone stop it? I don't, I don't know. What's your reaction to the reaction? I want to know why people are so unwilling to accept that this is offensive. Because it's, it's one thing to say at first glance, I don't understand why this is wrong. It doesn't make any sense. Let me educate myself and go through the comments and try to figure this out. But when people like me or Chantel or any of them jump in and we're like, this is why it's offensive. Here are the reasons. And we just get, okay, Snowflake. Okay, you're offended at everything. Okay, it's racist if I even step out of my house at this point is a message that I've been sent. It's not okay, and it's not productive. It just shows, okay, <laughs> someone messed up, no one is taking accountability for it, no one wants to apologize for it, and we just want to brush us all off as liberals and sweep it under the rug. The school put out a statement saying, it's unfortunate that people took an, instance, like, an incident like this and made something out of it that it isn't. Do you buy that? No, because they didn't even... What did they exactly say? It is unfortunate that some are mischaracterizing this year's event. The problem was not the event. The problem was the um, replication of blackface. That was, 
they dodged the whole thing. They dodged accountability, of course they did. <laughs> they also went on to say they want this, this to be a learning experience. What would you want them to learn from this? Good question. I don't know. I guess the first thing that I would want is for people to understand that we can't jump to outrage. It needs to be love first. And um, real conversations need to be had. If you don't understand blackface or why it's offensive, why even unintentionally uh, recreating it is offensive, then you need to go and look up the history behind it and put some thoughts into your brain and think about it. Like really internalize this, put yourself into somebody else's shoes, somebody else's body and think, why would this be offensive to me if I were black? What would I feel looking at this? What, how does this look out of context? Keely, as you heard, who is attending BYU-Idaho these days, does blame the school for allowing this to happen. And so does the Pocatello branch of the NAACP. In a Facebook post of their own, they said, responsible adults at the event should have known better and counseled the students that what they were doing was inappropriate. Keeley, though, stopped short of calling the incident outright racist, despite the hand signals that were shown in some of those pictures. She says she is, has a hard time using that word, even when it is so blatantly obvious. The baby doll, painted black and hanging from a stick, though, that she had no problem calling racist.